Hello, everybody. Welcome back to WWTF. We want the fast game show. Mike C. Every while. Hey, y'all. We got it. It's the Xbox One X, the Project Scorpio edition. This is what we got right here. And we're going to do an unboxing of it real quick, and then we're going to talk about it. All right. All right. Ready? Uh, yep. Let's go. All right, then. We did the unboxing. There it is right there. <laughs> Plus a controller. <laughs> All right, Mike. Um, no, you go first. I want you to give your rating first. Okay. I always go first all the time. Fred, what do you give this magnificent box piece of hardware? What do you give it? You know what? I'm going to give it a three out of five. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry. Three out of five. Three out of five. Fred, I'm actually going to give it a four out of five, Fred. Wow. Wow. All right, Fred, why do you give this a three out of five? Talk to me. Okay. This system is not for everybody. Mm -hmm. This system is only for a few that already has like a 4K TV mm -hmm. that's 120 hertz. Mm -hmm. uh, this or higher. Or, or higher. Mm -hmm. um, because don't look at the price of this being $4.99. With the TV that you also have to purchase to take advantage of this thing, mm -hmm. you're talking about over 500 bucks. Mm -hmm. All right. Easy. I thought the launch was a debacle. It was, it was totally chopped up because... Anytime that you have a hot system and that you can still reserve it hours before the launch, mm -hmm. I think that you messed up with mm -hmm. that. Although the, the, the Xbox was, it, it, I mean, it's good in a, in a sense. I'm not knocking anything down for it. The reason why I'm giving it such a low uh, uh, rating because you, you got to think about it. This is a slight upgrade from your Xbox One S. Mm -hmm, correct. So it's not that big of a deal. Yes, it has better frame rate. Yes, it does 4K uh, gaming, checkerboard and 4K gaming. That's true 4K gaming. But the price that they stuck on this for, for us consumers, and you don't have the necessary hardware to run it, you're going to be paying up. Mm -hmm. and, and like th thousands of dollars to get this system right. Mm -hmm. Don't think that you're going to just spend $400 and then take it home, put it on your 1080p TV. Mm -hmm. That's that's not why you get this. Mm -hmm. You get this because you have a 4K TV, 120 meg uh, 20 hertz or better, mm -hmm. so you can get the full capability out there. Okay. It's like you get in a Ferrari and you work at 7-Eleven and your house is right directly across the street from the 7-Eleven. Mm -hmm. But you brought a Ferrari, and that's the only thing that you drive to. Mm -hmm. You just drive it right across the street. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, it's just ridiculous. I know a lot of people are going to be like, and, and it's dusty, and I'm going to tell you why. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say, well, man, why would you? You don't know what you're talking about. The Xbox One X is the greatest system ever. To, to some people, not to all people. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mike? Feel, feel some kind of way about this. I, I really do. Mike. I know. Okay. 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 The reason I gave it a four, it does do what it says. Okay. If you're ready for this type of system, it does what it says. Mm -hmm. I already have a 4K TV. I already had uh, the TV's 240 hertz. I'm ready to run the system. For those that are not ready to run the system, like Fred said, it's not the one to get. I gave it a four out of five because of what it does. What it does, it cuts down on all the load times. The first party, um, the first party, uh, games like Gears of War or anything like that is going to run beautiful up on this stuff. 60 frames per second, true 4K. It makes the game look remarkably different from uh, from uh, it running on the S. Mm -hmm. You see it up in the graphics and everything like that. But you, like you said, Fred, you got to have the correct hardware in order to run the system. I would not get this system if you're doing a 1080p TV. This is not mm -hmm. the system for you. If you got a 4K TV and you're already ready, you got 240 hertz, um, I wouldn't even go 120 hertz far as uh far as most uh, refresh rate. Go 240. If you're going to get this device, this is for the high end type of gamer. Mm -hmm. This is not for Joe Blow or Mom's Mom or whoever. Mm -hmm. um, this is for a high end type of game. It does do what it says. Uh, it does give you that quality. It gives you uh, Adobe Atmos as well too, as far as your sound quality. If you have like a whole entertainment room and you want another piece of pristine hardware to get up in there, yes, this is a system for you. The price tag, that's one reason I didn't give it a 5 out of 5. Mm -hmm. The price tag was ridiculous. This should not be this much. No. The PS4, it was $399. That was, that was somewhat, that was reasonable because of the when the PS4 came up, it was always cheap. I don't know why Xbox wanted to get so much out of the system, but I guess as far as, you know, what they put up into the system, they say, okay, equivalent of this to a PC, this is how it should be. It is the most powerful console, console. created. Okay, console, not PC. 
Okay, because you can still do a uh, high game of PC, which will exceed the graphics and, and fidelity of all it. But it, do, it does run true 4K games, not in every single game. So do not get this in your mind. Every mm -hmm. game you get will be running 4K, true 4K, and all that other stuff. Games like, let's say, uh, like Sonic Forces or games like that, that run, uh, I think, 720, but this bumps it up to about a 1080. But it's 720 on all of the consoles. But mm -hmm. it's not going to get no 4K unless they come with a patch down the line. They are making patches for these systems. But it all depends on the developer to make sure that we'll get these patches and that it works for the system so you can truly get the, the uh, use uh, out of the system. Um, like you said, the launch. We were trying to do a lot of stuff for this launch, but people weren't biting it on their yeah. price tag. It was too, it's too much, honestly. Yeah. It's, it was really too much. I like it because I'm ready for it. You know what I'm saying? I wish, of course I wish I would have saved a couple hundred dollars for it being cheaper, yes. But far as does it do what it says, yes. With the games, they are allowing it to do what it says. Not all games, okay? It does uh, cut down on load times. Like Assassin's Creed, uh, Origins, right? Mm -hmm. um, or the S or whatever, it takes about a whole, almost a whole minute. Mm -hmm. 59 seconds or something. This just cuts it down to about half. So that's half the time you already end up there playing a the game. Right. You know what I'm saying? The bad thing is about it is, let's say, everybody don't have an Xbox One X. Let's say you're playing games like Destiny or online games. Mm -hmm. You still got to wait for other people to join in, so you're still going to be waiting. Mm -hmm. Okay. But as um, far as what it is, it does look beautiful. It's a little different from the uh, S. You know what I'm saying? It's more sleek. It's heavy. It's hefty. Um, you come with the stand. You got the Project Scorpio. It really doesn't add nothing to it. But me, me being a gamer, I do like the way it looks. I do like that I got the Project Scorpio edition. It was no difference in price. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to pay more mm -hmm. for that for that type of edition. But... Uh, Xbox One X. Yes, I'm happy I got it. Yes, I wish it was cheaper. But it does do what it says. There you go. That's my review, bro. And, you know, the funny thing about it is that the night when this came out, I was desperately trying. Well, we both was desperately trying to give away a copy of Call of Duty World War II. So Mike was at his GameStop. I was at. I was going to go to his GameStop because I didn't think that the GameStop that I got to, uh, both of mine from we're going to be doing a 24-hour thing or, or a midnight type thing. Mm. So, I, I don't know why I say 24 hours. <laughs> <laughs> but up for 24 hours. <laughs> but it, when I called the store to just remind the guy, I was like, okay, uh, can we still film in there? He was like, yeah, but there's nobody in here. I don't think anybody's <laughs> going to get here until around about like 1130. Yeah. So the GameStop that I was at, it was only like 10 people in line. Oh, wow. Wow. And then earlier that day when I was at GameStop, this uh, parent came in and they brought an <coughs> Xbox. But guess what Xbox they brought? They brought the S. It was the same day that this was coming out. Oh. They brought the S. Wow. This is not feasible to come just uh, come in and drop 530 on this thing. Yeah, right. I mean, it, it's Christmas time. You spend $530. If you have two kids in your house, Five hundred and thirty dollars will go towards a lot of Christmas presents. Right. You're only going to get one thing if you right. get this. You right. know what I'm saying? Unless your your money like long like that. You know what I mean? But and, and another reason why I gave it such a low rating right. is <clears throat> I'm a PC builder, right? So this is already outdated. Everything in here is old hardware compared to the specs on the PC. With a PC, you can upgrade the GPU, the CPU, the RAM, and the hard drive. Mm -hmm. This has no competition with the PC. And a lot of you may think, oh, he don't know what he's talking about. But if you really look at it, this system was developed years ago. So years ago, they, did, they weren't using the modern chips that they are using right now. Mm -hmm. So... Out the out the gate, this is already a a uh, uh, old hardware is already in here. Mm -hmm. And another thing is, for five thirty, I would have rather them tell all the developers, look, every game that you put on this system has to run four yeah. K. It yeah. has to run yeah. five hundred and thirty bucks for That's an right. upgrade, mm -hmm. and you don't have any type of exclusive content on here. There's nothing specifically made for the Xbox One X right, that's yeah. going to blow you away because everything has a patch and upscale. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just like Purple Rain. Everybody know what Purple Rain is, Prince movie. You know, that came out in like the late 80s, mm -hmm. I think. Mm -hmm. 
Now you can buy Blu-ray on Blu-ray. I mean, you can buy Purple Rain on Blu-ray now. When Purple Rain was filmed, it wasn't filmed in 1080p. Mm -hmm. It may have been filmed on like high eight or something like that. But Purple Rain is now upscaled so it can look that way. That's how the games are on here. Like Madden is enhanced. Mm -hmm. Don't get me wrong. Every game that I played on here, Assassin's Creed, Madden, Call of Duty, Gears of War, Halo, all those games look terrific. Mm -hmm. My only problem was the TV that I got from GameStop was only 60 hertz. So I'm missing out a, a whole lot. Mm -hmm. So your experience looked way better than mine. Right. 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 But when I was looking at it graphically, I was like, yeah, it, it does look good. But I'm just thinking to myself. That's $500. In fact, that's 530 bucks, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. That's a lot. Let's go ahead and get this thing a final verdict. We didn't talk about this thing. We waited for it. We was real hype about this system. Did it deliver? Uh, for some, yes. For others, no. And um, I'm I'm sad that they really didn't have no exclusive game that come, came out with it. Mm -hmm. It looked like they was going to have Crackdown or whatever, but that's still cartoony. I wish they would have had what they showed in, uh, in E3. You know what I'm saying? Have that, uh, I forgot the name of that game, but they showed. It looks beautiful up on there, but was that just running in? PC version. I know what game you're talking about, where they went underwater and all yeah, that, that game stuff. Looked yeah, beautiful. I forgot what it was called, um, but, but uh, they tried to make it. It was exclusive. No, it's on all the systems. Right. Um, final verdict, Greg. Final verdict, Mike. Mike, mm -hmm. should you buy or should you pass on this system or wait? Which, which one should you? I say wait for the price to drop. Wait for it to drop. Make sure you have all your hardware and stuff like that. It's going to get cheaper. I'm a wait. Okay, so that's a pass. Because I didn't make a graphic for a week. <laughs> so, <laughs> so it's a pass. See, you tricked me, y'all. <laughs> Get it! Get it! Spend your money! <laughs> I'm going to also say pass. Because right now, if you don't have the TV mm -hmm. to run this thing, you're not going to get anything out of it. True enough, it upscales and it makes it look good. I, I'm not saying... It does everything that Xbox said it was going to do. Mm -hmm. Everything. Everything. But to the average consumer, when you're dropping $530 on this system, I think the price is too high for what it is for an essential upgrade, and there are no exclusive titles on here. It's just patches to make games run at a high frame rate and look a little bit better. I'm sorry, guys, but that's just the way that I feel about it. And Microsoft will probably never send us anything. <laughs> Not with this review. <laughs> I gave it a four, though, y'all. I said, uh, yeah. <laughs> I still said that. And way. there are people saying that these systems are broke on day one as well. What you hear? I heard that some systems will not come on. Mm -hmm. Some systems die after hours of use. Oh. Uh, Mike, I have played this maybe three or four times, and it has set in the living room, and I'm still currently have my Xbox One S hooked up. This, since I got it, I've only played it a couple of times. It, it's that's why I I was wiping the dust off. Plus, I went out of town, so <laughs> and uh, to me, I, I'm I'm just waiting. Uh, hopefully, a, a, a game will come out that would take the the With whole the power of, of this. Yeah. And not be be able to run on the S or the regular Xbox. That's that's just the way I feel about it. I don't think it's never gonna come right Yeah, now. probably so. All right, so uh, sorry, but there goes the review. So uh, like always, you guys can hit us up at thegamershow at gmail .com. That's the Game of Show with the name. Don't forget to head over to the Facebook store page if you find low low prices. Don't forget to hit us up on V Time. Don't forget to subscribe and become a Gamers Club member. And please remember to like, subscribe, and follow all our social media networks. Join our Steam Wars community and our website community where you can get some free stuff. All right. And we'll see you next time on WWTF. We want the facts. The game is show. We'll see you next time. Keep watching. Watch out for there. <laughs> <laughs>